Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about polling interval. The very first important thing is we are going to go through the UiPath documentation and understand what is polling interval and go through all of these important points for the exam preparation. After that, I have prepared few questions. For example, what is the default polling interval set when creating a new connection? You know, in a in an event trigger. How can you customize the polling interval for event triggers? How can you customize it? Can you have multiple polling intervals for one connection? Why or why not? How does changing the polling interval affect the associated triggers on a connection? What happens when a poll is running and the polling interval is changed? See, lot of questions. What happens once data is retrieved during polling? All of this question answer you will get once we go through the documentation. So let's move on to our documentation. I'm going to pass the link of the documentation or you can simply find it out by clicking on or typing integration service user guide. And if you go to the trigger section, you will find this page. In this one, please scroll down and look for the section which says polling interval and let us go through this section very important for exam preparation when you create a new connection and set up an event trigger on that connection the polling interval is set by default to five minutes so what it is saying when you for the very first time when you have built a connection and then if you click on this connection by default it will be set to five minutes so what is a polling interval? It checks the target application. In this example, Microsoft OneDrive, every one minute. So the default time is five minutes. I have changed it. But the default polling interval time is five minutes as per the documentation. Even when you create it for the very first time, you would see the time is five minutes. So what is polling? Polling means checking. So this UiPath application checks OneDrive for any kind of event happening there file getting created file getting deleted file being moved to a trash so different different events are there so it is checks for all those events if anything is happening like that in the target application every five minutes this is the default time as per the documentation remember this point very important point the default time is five minutes you can customize this interval using the adjustable polling interval feature where this feature is available here so the time is highlighted in blue if you click on this check connection every and you can change the polling interval this will look at this point this will affect all the triggers that use microsoft onedrive sharepoint integration service will check for events immediately after updating the polling interval so integration service will check for the events immediately after updating. So if you are updating right now, it will start checking immediately. So if I am going to change it to, let's say one minute, the moment I update and check, the integration service will immediately check for any kind of event happening on OneDrive and SharePoint. Understanding this point, so this important point, you can customize this interval using the adjustable polling interval we saw that which allows you to choose the interval on which event trigger check for a new object events so you can, so you saw that practically you can change it look at this point you can have only one polling interval. so let me highlight some of the important points okay important point you can adjustable polling interval feature you saw that You can have only one polling interval per connection. Let's say I have got Microsoft OneDrive connection. So I can have only one polling interval. I have got a ServiceNow connection. Then I can have only one polling interval because this connections are, this polling interval is available under connection. So each connection can have only one polling interval. Okay, if you have ServiceNow, again, that will have only one. So if you click on this, you can see only one polling interval per connection remember this point you can have only one polling interval per connection even though 
you can have several trigger set up for that connection you might have multiple different events created triggers created for example for one drive i have created a trigger let's say i have created a trigger for example if i go back so i have created a trigger this one when i am when a file getting created there are other events also for example there are events like um, you know file moved to trash somebody has deleted the file so there are multiple events so for one of the event i have created one trigger for one drive i can create 4 5 6 7 available triggers right i can create multiple triggers so what it is saying you can have several triggers set up for your connection but the polling interval remains same for all the triggers changing the polling interval affects all the associated triggers on the connection so this understanding is important okay polling runs on the connection at the selected interval once the data has been retrieved all the active triggers for that connections are applied to the data set so for example polling has run and during that it will retrieve some data some file has been changed some data it has retrieved so what happens once the data has been retrieved all active triggers for that connections are applied to the data set okay so it will start using that particular data set clear polling runs on the connection at the selected interval this is fine if a poll is running this is important point okay if a poll is running when you change the interval so a poll is running that means checking it has collecting it is collecting some data that time you are changing the interval so what happens the service waits for the existing poll to finish so what happens even though you have changed it, the polling is taking some time let's say it is taking 30 seconds you have already applied some change you have changed the polling from 5 minutes to 1 minute so at that time while you are changing the polling was actually started so what happens in that case if a poll is running when you change the interval the service waits for the existing poll to finish very important point then starts another one then it will start another one so once that is finished immediately it is going to start another one getting it so these are important points now now let's get back to the slide and see if we can answer those questions hope you are ready let's start our very first question what is the default polling interval set when creating a new connection with an event trigger so what is the default time the time is 5 minutes simple okay second question how can you customize the polling interval for event triggers so how do you customize you can customize the polling interval by going to the connection tab select the connection and change the interval pretty simple okay question number 3 can you have multiple polling intervals for one connection can you have multiple polling intervals for one connection let's say microsoft one drive is one connection can you have multiple no you cannot so the answer is no you cannot have multiple polling intervals for one connection this limitation exists because every connection targets a single application so it has to check that application every 5 minutes every 1 minute right and it checks for specified events on that target application as per the single polling interval only so you cannot have multiple intervals for a single connection for one connection okay all right let's face another question how does changing the polling interval affect the associated trigger on a connection changing the polling interval affects all associated triggers on a connection this means that if you adjust the polling interval it will apply to all triggers set up for that connection so triggers are childs of a connection so if you consider connection as a parent one drive connection as a parent then the triggers are childs of the parent so if you are setting a polling interval of 5 minutes or 1 minute or 2 minutes or whatever it is all that the time applies to all the triggers just remember that okay what happens when a poll is running and the polling interval is changed this is the question i was trying to focus right okay when a poll is running and the polling interval is changed the service waits for the existing poll to finish so polling means it is trying to send some request and getting some data right so it will wait for that to finish then starts another one with the updated interval so immediately it'll start the another one this ensures that there is no interruption in the polling process all right what happens once data is retrieved during polling so when you are retrieving the data what happens once data is retrieved during polling all active, active triggers for that connection are applied to that data set 
This means that only configured actions or workflows associated with the triggers will be executed based on the retrieved data. So if somebody has changing the file, then the trigger for file change will start. Right? Somebody has deleted something, then the trigger for that uh, delete, deletion activity event will start. So based on your data set, the specific trigger will start. I hope you have gained a lot of knowledge and you should be ready to answer any kind of question that appears in your exam. So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to next topic. Do not forget to like this video and write a comment. Thank you guys. Let's move on to our next topic.